Hey there guys, in this video I'm just going to be going over installing a clipper and clipper screen into the CRX or the CR10S Pro. Um, for the parts we're basically just going to be using a male A to mini USB, um, male A to female A USB, Raspberry Pi, um, uh, voltage regulator LM2596 DC to DC some nylon nuts and standoffs which are 25mm, 12mm um, and nuts and 9mm standoffs which are all M3 uh, a couple of M2 screws for the back of the screen and um, that's about it um, a 3D printed plug for the USB to come out the back of also um, laser cut mounting boards because I'm going to be moving the motherboard and a mounting board for the screen and we'll be using the um, the Big Tree Tech TFT 4.3 inch LCD so that's mounted to the back of the screen this is already on it um, which is a DSI to the Raspberry Pi so okay let's get started um, we'll go Remove this stuff out of here, we'll get rid of the screen. Now there's a silicon washer, seal, whatever you want to call it, um, on the original screen. We're going to leave that there for the new screen to sit against. Okay, that's everything we need to undo. So we've got the motherboard, the fan and the screen out. Alright, so we'll get started with the screen. Um, I've used the two M2 screws just to pin the screen to this. Um, I can undo those to give a bit of adjustment. But we'll put the screen in first because it's easier to put the screen in now than when the motherboard's in. We'll just get this up in here. Now we're going to be using the 12mm nylon screws to hold the screen. These don't need to be done up tight. The way I do these up is I just feel for a bit of movement and then tighten them once there's no movement just so it's not slopping around and that should be nice. Now I've already stuck the um, standoffs in this, uh, the ones for the fan I've cut one of the 9mm standoffs in half just so it sits lower and that allows a bit of thread to come out the top. But we'll put this in. So now we lift the motherboard back up and we just position it in. So now we've moved it over. And what this is going to do by doing this is this is going to allow us to plug the USB cable in here and that'll give us enough room and everything will be contained inside of the printer instead of needing to have cables coming out. So we'll just do the motherboard up. Okay, we'll do that for the time being. And now the fan. So these plates that I've made keep everything in the same position. So the cooling, everything will be still the same. We've just moved it over. Just make sure you don't need to do these nylon nuts up tight. Over tighten them. Okay, that's the motherboard in. It's all good. Now for the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is just going to sit here like that, but I'll plug in the DSI cable first. Alright, that's the most bulk of it in. Now, the voltage regulator will be connected directly to the power supply. Um, you set this at 5.1 volts out for the Pi, and I'm just going to put that there, which I need a cable tie for. And then we'll run this over here. That's the power for the Pi. 
make sure you um, make sure you adjust the potentiometer to 5.1 volts before you connect it to the Pi and power it up. You don't want to blow up your Pi. Put that there. Now we'll get the USB cable. I'm just leaving loose, it's not going to come out. It's fine. So that's pretty much the bulk of it done. Um, I've 3D printed these, which is just to hold a USB A male and female. So all I've done here is made it so you can drop the plug in there and then clip it, and then it'll hold in there nicely. And then you run that through. Now, if you want, you don't want to drill a hole in the back of your printer. This line that's for the bed heater that goes out, there's a grommet here. You can stick the uh, male side of this through that and come back in. But I've just drilled a hole at the back and then installed that part into there. And then I can run this up through here and then up into the pie okay. and that gives me the webcam out so now I can plug in the webcam and um, that'll run through the pie and that is pretty much it so basically all we've done is installed the Pi into here, moved the motherboard over, I put a new touch screen in for a clipper screen to run on, and that'll give us everything we need to um, have clipper completely contained within the printer. So you can buy pads that plug in through the original USB port. Um, Sonic pad, I think it's called. Big Tree Tech sells one. It's like a seven inch pad which plugs in. You have a wires coming out, but um, I wasn't really a fan of that considering I've got a number of these printers and I wanted it all contained within the printer. So by doing this upgrade, it allows me to have the clipper, the Pi, the screen, everything in the one printer. And then, yes, that gives us is this everything we need now if your um, screen isn't quite lined up when you put it in those two m2 screws on the back you just undo those you just loosen the screen and then you can move it around once you've got it in the position that you want then just tighten up the screws behind it and then she'll stay but that's pretty much good enough for me so I hope this helps you breathe life into your um, old printer. It's certainly an upgrade worth doing. Now it's running Clipper with Clipper screen on it, touch screen, just like the original Creality's. It's all nice and contained. Uh, you can do this on um, the CRX and the CRX10S Pro. I've got a few more of those to do because I'm converting all of my printers. Hope that helps you if you're looking to upgrade one of your printers.